Good afternoon, traders. This is 4 p.m., 17th of Feb, 2022. It's uh, Thursday, late afternoon. The market's closed half an hour back. And uh, I just thought it would be good to quickly get done with my views uh, relatively early today. Um, the Nifty down 50 points, 0.29%. Uh, uh, it was quite a choppy day. Positive opening led by follow through selling. I think a quick look at the 75 minute time frame will give you a clear understanding of what happened. Now, this was the opening bar which was uh, which opened positive and then sold off. Then the next two bars positive, then the next two bars negative. So it was essentially all over the place. But the bank nifty was much more weaker. This was the opening bar of bank nifty. I think if I mark it, it will be easier for you to notice this is the opening bar of bank nifty post which it gave uh, two smallish uh, reversal kind of a bars and after which the next two bars were all weak so in fact you would uh, notice uh, if you're there live in the market today that it was the bank nifty and the banking stock especially icica bank which was uh, predominantly weak throughout uh, throughout today's uh, trading session now let's go back to the nifty and let's quickly uh, take a look this is our weekly chart on the left hand side i will uh, blow out this daily uh, this right hand side chart and first take a look at the daily time frame so the trend stays uh, down as we've been uh, paying for some time um, nothing much uh, of an exceptional reading from the relative strength index more or less in line and the momentum of the uh, of this this index, particularly over the last couple of weeks, have been fairly erratic. Uh, this uh, this is primarily because of the fact that sell off bounce back, sell off sharp bounce back. Of course, you remember 500 points uh, drama uh, on two days that we had this week. So um, that's why uh, the momentum has not picked up any trend, uh, any uh, any sequence per se. But overall, it seems um, that the market is a little tilted on the downside. It's just angling a bit on the downside. I say this primarily because of the support of the of the downtrend. Um, Seventy-five minute time frame. You would notice that we had drawn these volume profiles, wherein we a couple of days back spoke about three fifty, four fifty, five fifty as the as the resistance band. And uh, yes, this uh, this gap down is really acting as your resistance this is the level 17500 i think i spoke about 17500 call writing i think it must have um, closed uh, worthless in today's uh, weekly expiry now what we have on the um, on this particular 75 minute time frame is kind of a market which is stuck in a range just consolidating over here nothing much nothing much to read apart from the fact that slowly the underlying momentum has been improving no doubt and um, it will be interesting of an opening tomorrow i think from a very short term perspective this low and this high will be the trigger it will be a, a consolidation uh, a breakout from this consolidation this recent 75 minute time frame consolidation this consolidation is is coming to us after the 500 point fall and the following 500 point rise and this is the two day consolidation but higher time frames are not supportive um, higher time frames higher than the 75 minute time frame we go to the daily and it's it's not supportive on the upside it's slightly angling uh, on the downside i would say for the nifty 60 40 60 percent uh, possibility that uh, we have further weakness now the bank nifty as i was telling you was far more weaker very very clear it's 1.28 percent down 485 points in fact in entire today's trade since the very morning it was bank nifty which was underperforming the overall markets in fact it is one of the biggest sectoral loser uh, if i quickly show you the sectoral indices and sort it then you would find psu bank private bank okay let me so point uh, 1.19 1.18 and over here 1.28 so bank nifty is the biggest sectoral loser with psu and private banks of course this is not good news because they enjoy 37 percent weightage in the overall market so um, that's not good news for the overall markets also this can drag the nifty down unless it gets support from the other strong sectors maybe it or stocks like reliance um, 
bank nifty is uh, was relatively better but now the fact is it is slowly slowing down we can clearly see this momentum uh, dropping down slowly and um, this bounce back led, led to this sharp sell off and this sharp bounce back is now opening up on the downside so uh, zigzags on the downsides are very very clear this is a 75 minute time frame where we can see um, that the index is in a downtrend and um, not much reading from uh, particularly reading from this uh, rsi price behavior if you recall we had marked this divergence which is so far so good playing out decent for the index so far um, so same thing over here that um, it may continue to drag itself further down unless it takes out the previous highs which for bank nifty is 38 455 icici bank was a big drag was one of the biggest losers in this pack and um, this is one stock which has fallen quite sharp and it is on the verge of retracing the entire run up that it had seen and it got some pretty decent point of control volume profile close to that 735 740 zone so it is it is reaching a good support zone contrarian players might might start to find it attractive enough uh, trend following traders would definitely enjoy the opening up of the trend on the downside. So difficult to say whether 740, 735 will uh, lead to any bounce back or not. But the possibility is there that it might face a little bit of support there. I say a little bit because this is not good news. So we'll see how these large cap banking space, uh, banking stocks play out. Overall, Nifty. Um, 60 40 I said 60 percent on the downside primarily because of the trend and we need that range breakout bank nifty was holding the market up but now today it clearly shown uh, showed us the sign of uh, relative underperformance we will it will be interesting to see whether this kind of underperformance continues or not if it does then that's not good for the overall markets uh, weekly bank nifty is still better off I think very important from an intermediate time frame are these lows of 36,200, 36,500, so these lows. We'll see. Um, today, I would like to talk about Larson, l &D. Now, if you take a look at the weekly and the daily combination of uh, l &D, this is the near month futures, I notice uh, a few interesting signs. Number one, uh, the stock had been in an uptrend, exceptional strong uptrend, like most of the markets over the last couple of years. And we've had a couple of corrections in the past, and we can mark this as the third major correction since the big run up. Momentum has definitely slowed down and indicators have started to hit the red zone or have gone deeply, uh, relatively deeply oversold. Um, this leads to a trend reversal on the daily time frame. We are in a downtrend now. Uh, considering the daily time frame and uh, after moving uh, you know into a downtrend this is the bounce back um, which we have on the daily time frame of Larson now a couple of observations on this on this particular time frame of Larson is I have noticed a couple of uh, uh, hidden divergences shaping up momentum of course is supportive on the downside for sure no doubt about that um spinning topish uh, kind of candlestick here and if you drop down another time frame you go to 75 minute time frame then uh, you would probably start to realize some kind of a some kind of a hedge uh, sorry wedge kind of a pattern on the 75 minute time frame the trend is down so any kind of breakdown any kind of breakdown can lead to a retest of 1800 on the downside that's a pretty decent uh, support for the stock this zone 1800 and a little below 1800 seen multiple supports kicking in there so a retest of that is uh, can be anticipated if we get the breakdown now uh, today's low uh, for the stock is at 1853 and an Heikanashi candlestick will also suggest an inside body so It'll be nice. It'll be interesting to see whether this low is broken and whether the prices stay below that or not. But amongst the top 15 stocks which make up the Nifty 50, 
uh, on the weaker side, there are quite a few, but uh, Larson seems like a stock which is getting ready for a move. Considering the daily chart is down, considering that the momentum is also down, uh, a break below this low raises the possibility of, of 1800. So we'll see whether this structure plays out or not. As of now, Nifty, Bank Nifty, uh, Nifty in a downtrend, Bank Nifty on the verge of turning down. Uh, today, it clearly uh, demonstrated signs of uh, relative weakness. It will be uh, very important to observe whether it continues to underperform or shows some support or not. Um, so cautious, careful in terms of your trades for tomorrow, the last trading day of this week. It was one hell of a week, I'm sure. Um, Hopefully, in the coming weeks, uh, we'll have some steady trending moves from uh, most of the stocks. Till then, I think it's better to stay a little uh, low profile and uh, take care of your positions. Okay, trade well, trade wise.